Hey, I'm Maddie. I live in a converted minivan, and I'm on a quest to go to all 50 states to go on an outdoor adventure and drink a local beer. Come join me in Iowa. to give Iowa a try. But I am so glad to be here. We are going on my first caving adventure of the road trip, going to Makokoda Caves. I found a little turtle in the road. Don't worry, buddy. We're gonna get you to safety. road trip through all 50 states in legs and this is the first stop on my last leg besides Alaska and Hawaii. In the break I took from being on the road I had so much to do. Doing stuff for my van, doing stuff for my YouTube channel. I have so much stuff I don't use anymore and I'm trying to sell it to have a little extra money and it's so frustrating. I had so much to do that I just one day I was like, okay, I'm not doing anything. I kind of got into the habit of just spending all day on social media. When I finally admitted to myself that I wasn't doing okay and I needed to do something about it, I made an appointment with my therapist, which flows really nicely because this video is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp, um, better H-E-L-P, is a online counseling service that's customized to you. If you don't know what it is, you go online, you fill out a questionnaire, and then 48 hours later, you're matched with a therapist. And there is over 20,000 therapists, so you can have access to a specialty that might not be available in your area. So that's a perk for sure. And then when you meet your therapist, um, maybe it's not really what you had in mind, it's um, not the vibe, then you can easily request a new therapist at any charge and no cost to you. You can schedule video or phone sessions and exchange unlimited chat messages. There's over 2 million people that use BetterHelp. In fact, there's so many people that use it that they're actually recruiting therapists in all 50 states. And because BetterHelp is sponsoring this video, if you go to betterhelp.com slash beer and beautiful places, you can get 10% off your first month. So I made an appointment with my therapist and she reached out through chat and said, if you want, I have an availability tonight. And I said, no, that's okay. Cause I already had plans for that night. So I was like, no, I'll just wait. But what's really cool is that in the few days it took for it to be time for my appointment, I had already started getting my mind back on track from what I had learned from my previous BetterHelp sessions. And I think that just, that just says a lot about the quality of care you're getting with them. Thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. And so that's why it means so much to me to be back here, to be on the road and kind of moving past that not fun time. I am ready to get back out there and keep exploring our world. Let's go. Here we are at cave number one, Wide Mouth Cave. Gonna start off with some steps. I'm really pleasantly surprised with the amount of light that's showing up on the camera. 
It's just a like five or four foot tall room in here. That would be less than a meter for all our metric system friends. Cave number two, dugout cave. Just a nice little, nice little nook under the rocks. It really does look like a dugout. Again, for our metric system friends, that's where baseball players go. Baseball is a sport similar to cricket, sort of. Just kidding, I know you all know. Okay, time for up and down cave. This is what made me want to come to this cave system is that they have caves you can literally crawl through. Let's go. So I guess I'll just stash my backpack here because I don't want to crawl around with it. Look. And there's one there too. Into the unknown. I'm just trying to arrange myself. So many bugs in here to arrange myself so I can step down into this cave. Wow, a tiny little room. I can see the condensation from my breath. It's so silvery looking. This is so weird, so cool. I guess that's not the way people go. Oh, here we go. Oh gosh, I don't think I'll fit. Gotta try though. At least I'll get up there. In most caves I've been to, you're not allowed to touch the walls of the cave. So this is pretty cool, crawling through it. A real hands-on experience. Oh, I see the light of day. Look at that hole. I don't think I can fit. No. Yeah. <laughs> You'd have to be a child. I think I'm a small person, but I'm not able to fit through there. This is going to be difficult because I don't have a place to put my foot. Here we go, Hernando's Hideaway. I remember the, that name from looking it up and I think this is one of the ones I can fit through. Sure doesn't look like it right now though, does it? Again, just stash in the pack and here we go. I am literally <laughs> crawling on my hands and knees. You should really take knee pads on this thing. Oh gosh. I think I may turn around. Because this is really difficult. At this point, this is more of an mermaid drag than a army crawl. <laughs> I made it to this room that is, I don't know, four or five feet high. Very, um, very small, like, the size of a handicap stall in a bathroom, kind of small. 
Um, yeah, this is kind of a lot of work. I thought it was gonna come out somewhere, but I mean, this room is cool too. This is like 10 or 15 feet of just ugh, crawling on rocks. I guess this is what I signed up for though. I would recommend only if you're a kid or have a child-sized body. I believe this is Double Arch Cave right here. A nice walk through one. I am fully standing right now, which is nice. We're down away from the boardwalks now, and I believe this is Natural Bridge. How cool! Let's go through. It looks like it's a portal to an unknown world. Coming from Natural Bridge, you can either go on a path you can't see right now and up those stairs, or into Dance Hall Cave. There does look like there's some sort of haze over there. This is so cool. This feels like something in Europe that the ancient Romans build or something. It does not feel like Iowa. I'm headed back to the car now, but that was super cathartic. Feeling the mud on my skin, listening to the rain, just being out here in nature. It's, a, it's essential. Caver's wash off station. Thank goodness. I was wondering, I don't know how long it's gonna be till I get my next shower. I'm pretty caked. I'm coming back with my swimsuit and shower stuff. It's gonna be so cold. Also, I feel very immodest walking around a state park in a bikini. And of course, there's people up here who are getting onto that bus not that far from me. This is so embarrassing. The things we do to live in a van.
I am absolutely frozen. My head hurts from the cold water washing out my hair. My thought process was if I take a shower now, I won't have to find a gym or something later, but <laughs> there's a heavy price to pay to be this cold. Luckily, it's only about 2.30, so I'm gonna get some driving in for the day. We're in the part of Iowa that I like to call the nose, the chef's nose because, listen to this, some of y'all might already know this, but if you look at a map of the U.S., Louisiana looks like a boot, doesn't it? And Minnesota kind of looks like a chef hat. And in between them, you got the head, which is Iowa, his shirt, which is Missouri, and his pants that are Arkansas. And what's he holding? A tray that is Tennessee. What's in the tray? Kentucky. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Mind blown. How long did the government think we wouldn't notice all the pieces are finally adding up? So anyway, I'm about to do some driving and I'll check in with you when it's dinner time. super loud. I am staying at a truck stop tonight and maybe I have to move because this is just, it's not peaceful at all. Man, oh, okay, but I'm gonna at least try to do my beer tasting here. I drove all the way from the uh, east end of the state to the west end. I stopped in Des Moines to post my video for this week and I also had dinner, had a good old spin sand and by that I mean a spinach sandwich because I don't have anything else. The cheese I have what had uh, was moldy so I threw that out instead of eating it. Not my best dinner, but let's see if we can make up for that in beer. I got my first, what's this called? Growler from Makokota Brewing, which is the name of the small town in a river actually near the caves we went to today. It is an American ale. It's called Pappy's Ale, I think. Nope, it's just called Pappy's. This is Pappy. Happy likes beer. Me too, bud. Cheers to that. It's very weedy. I am saying wheat e, not weed e. That'd be kind of gross in a beer. <laughs> I almost want to say I taste a little lemon with it or some sweetness. Good after a day of crawling through caves. It was getting a little too dark to film without an extra light, so I had to put up my window covers and then turn on my lights to continue this video. And now it's very hot and that truck is still super loud. These are just one of the days where living in a van doesn't really seem worth it. Obviously I'm not like, oh, I'm done, but it's not been a good day. Well, the caves part was really fun, and the beer, of course, was good, but just one of those days. I'll keep trying, though. I'm going to Nebraska next. I hope you subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and you haven't already, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye!